All right. Good morning, guys. Can you hear me all? Yes. All right. Um, in the next 15 minutes, I hope uh, when you finish my talk today, you have some idea how to make an impression during your interview. Right? All right. Um, All right, I have no discussion today. Next one. All right, so this is our, our, our talk. Um, I'll give you some insight about the medical school admission or residency uh, process because when you get into medical school, you think you're finished. Not yet. You have to go again to residency. And even you finish residency, <coughs> not yet. Go to fellowship again. All right, and even you finish fellowship, not yet. Kaiser interview, all cap interview. So this is give you an idea of what is how to impress in those interviews. All right, and our goal for today is you. I want you to get into top one third of my list when I rank you or I score you. And particularly important to the non-verbal because sixty percent of the decisions making during the interview process, believe or not, based on your non-verbal. So as Asian, we, we think about, we focus a lot on your score, how to do well on the MCAT, how to do well on your GPA, but often we forget focusing on our non-verbal versus verbal. And the last thing I'd like to share with you, what it should be, or what it should be the verbal language. How to tell a powerful story, because when people ask you, tell me about yourself, and then you start what? I was born and raised in Vietnam, and then going on. And when you finish, everyone sleeps. <laughs> you don't want that. You want a good statement, and I'll show you why. Next one, please. All right, who is the more trustful thing? The left on the right. Hopefully all you say on the right, not on the left, right? Because, next one, please. You never have a second chance for your first impression, okay? This is particularly true for your dating someone too. All right, is that right? Is that right? And remember how you first met uh, Helen? Yes. So a lot of people here have family can confirm, and also you dating, you should know this too. Thanks, one, please. All right. So let's dive into this. For a, a average class at 150, what they usually do? They screen your application, and how many? It depends, UCLA, USC, or SUNY, or whatever medical school, but usually it's 2,000 to 4,000. Now, they will interview you at 600 to 800 applicants, and typically 10 to 20 a day. What does it mean? It means if you get an interview, you already make a really good chance. You get one out of five or six guy or girl, one step into medical school, right? You see that? And now, out of five, six hundred, usually people send out an acceptance letter to two hundred or two fifty. Why? Why they send more than one fifty? Because some of you will not go to a medical school, that particular medical school. And guess what? They reject about two hundred or the lower one third. And then the weight is about one hundred. <coughs> So your goal for today, you want to get into 200 immediately accept the letter. And even not that, get into the wait list. You do not get into the DNR list. We call it do not rank list. Or we call whatever, do not resuscitate list. Okay? Because this is in residency, why we put you on this list? Because you look weird. Because we don't like you. So those are things that you have to make sure that you act behave and how they look because you don't want to be in that list. Next one, please. All right, residency, similar story, internal medicine class size is 10, and people are speaking about 2,000 into the 10 to, uh, to 100 to 150, and then put again one third of the list, rank number one to number 20, uh, 30, and the mid and the low rank. Usually, you match first choice, first choice if you are ranked for 130. And you want to get into that list. Next one, please. All right, so let's how. 
So first of all, you should know about yourself, and this is many interviewers will tell you again and again, but I cannot re-emphasize how important it is. Know everything inside and out about you, about your CV. Whatever you listed on your CV, you should be know like everything about that. Don't hesitate at all. Really, something like that. That's not good. So the goal for you is to impress the interviewer and and if you do so, you will get into the medical school. Can everyone hear me? Hello? All right. That's okay. I, I usually don't answer that. All right. <coughs> all right. So do your homework before you go to uh, medical school interview. What do you do? You check online forum about interviewing and interviewer. This is important. Learn about your key interviewer. This is key again. Key. Who are the key? Dean, assistant dean, key faculty. Look for someone old. Look for someone been there for a long time because he or she will be there to see you again. Okay. And then be familiar <coughs> with the driving, how to cross the school. You know this, but be early, eat well, drink well, and sleep well. And the key thing is be able to answer the biggest question from the intro. Why you? Why you? Remember this, why you? For medical school admission for residency. Thank you. Thank you, Amla. <coughs> Next. Next, yes. <coughs> and how would you impress the interview in 10, 15 minutes? This is the key thing. You have or should have by now observation skill. You start from the parking lot, you most intend doing the interview and then finish when you go back to a car. It means you constantly looking, constantly observe what's going on around you. And the nonverbal language, good handshake, body gesture, dress, and eye contact. And those again and again, those skills you learn today with us. We show you how to do those. And then verbal language, as mentioned earlier, powerful words and powerful storyteller. And then ask the right question. Next one, please. So study have been shown why people fail into you. The number one reason why? Because they fail into those things. Number one, eye contact. When you talk about eye contact, don't look too much, but don't look too little. And that's the key thing. If you date somebody, yeah, you can fall into her eye or his eye. But this is a medical school interview. Don't look too much. But if you look too little, like this all the time, that's not cool either. Right? So this is the right amount of eye contact. And, and smile. Make sure you smile. Especially for those who become a future dentist. Right? <laughs> dentist, by all means, <coughs> smiling. So make sure you're smiling. Okay? And cross arm is one thing that people don't like. Make sure you don't do that. And then a wrong handshake. Again, people ask me, why? What is wrong handshake? Remember, sometimes you shake it a few my faculty. Don't make a very hard handshake because it's painful and think about it so how about the right one you make sure that the tight one to show your content but less than one or two seconds don't don't just hold the hand i cannot re-emphasize really you how many times i interview medical student and resident or future resident so that really we handshake and i'll tell you my hand sometimes oh my gosh and then for the next one minute, I can think about the handshake. <laughs> and, and, and you don't want that. You don't want something different than the hand. Okay? Next one, please. All right. Forget the thing. This is, this is something some Asian students always do. Sometimes they do it. Don't ever do this. Okay? Don't. Oh. Uh, I'll do this. I'll do this. Oh. Uh, none of those. Okay? Look straight forward at your interviewer. Don't do those kind of things. Next one, please. Again, first impression of your body. 55% of the way you dress, act, and walk to the door will determine somehow you get into the medical school. And on the right side, if you fail to make those things, it's likely you will put on a DNR list, and you don't want that, right? Next one, please. Now, this question I often get asked from students, and how would you dress? Dress like you are today. Okay, professional, don't dress something over, over qualified. And I remember, just tell you again. Um, some of us ask about okay, makeup for themes, but everything should be in modern. Don't, you don't really want to go too far. 
and you look fabulous today. Okay, you good. Thank you. Next one, please. All right, I told you good eye contact because this is how you respect the interviewer. And Asian people sometimes uh, we afraid to eye contact, right? Especially if we look for someone like parents or teacher, we we don't look straight for. We look a little bit low. This is not true for a medical interview. You should look straight forward, calm, in a confident manner. Next one, please. All right. Love in that side, hate in this side. You want in the middle. You don't want to, you know, neither way. You don't want to be aggressive. You don't want to be too submissive. Next one, please. <coughs> All right. The body language to interview are so important. But I tell you what, this is outside the interview. Because many of you, when you go to interview, you look out. Nice. But when you get out, wait in the waiting room, you do this, and you, you know what? People constantly observe you. People constantly look at you, and when they look at you, because the fact that they may stop by, they say, "Oh, Calvin, he looks just like this," and that's not professional either. Because often we focus too much inside the room, but outside your manner constantly being observed, and whatever out there like this. You will be on the deep analysis. Next one, please. All right. And what is a good gesture? So today we will tell you and we will give you feedback. What are your good gesture or not? But the key thing is comfortable, confident, <coughs> attentive, and you are showing your listening. So the question, this question, I've been asked many times. And in conclusion, what I usually tell students is, you just slide forward, open your arm or hand together back straight and make sure you don't have lower back pain okay this is Asian sometimes we do this all the time just sit straight and then direct eye contact and one quarter smile you don't really all smile all the time don't do that but don't do this so often one quarter your smile thank you next one all right the power of silence I don't know if many of you here remember from my talk from all the things Silence is really powerful in interview, right? Did I get everyone's attention? You see, if I silent for three seconds, but do not be silent for five minutes because that's too powerful. Then they will reject you. <laughs> okay, don't do that. Just three seconds. You see, my tone go up and down. No monotone. Okay, interviewer, you can go up, you can go down, but do not say in monotone. And then ask the right question. Next one, please. <coughs> All right, you powerful words. You should know this by now, right? Whenever you tell about story, you make something that really powerful by picking those words carefully. You can say incredible, gorgeous, confident. Remember, those words will make your voice stronger, but also powerful to the interviewer. So think about those powerful words. And today. During the feedback, we will give you how you should or what words you should choose. Next one. Okay, this question I also get asked a lot. What is a good question, right? Because at the end of the interview, we will ask you. Okay, can you go? You have any questions? And the the word answer is what? I don't have any questions. Okay, so at least make one or two questions because if you don't have any questions. Let's say two things. Number one, you don't really care about this program. Number two, if you do, it sounds like you very passive. You should be, or you take control. This is your chance to learn about the medical school. This is your chance to learn about the residency program. So at least have one or two questions, and we tell you why. All right. So number one, the question is individualized to the faculty, not general question. Number two, the question is unique. I cannot find online. I cannot find this in forum and discussion. So don't ask like, how many class? What is the class size for this medical school? Okay, don't ask that. Or you ask that. Or how many? Uh, what is the match rate for this medical school? You know why? Because those things you can find online. Don't waste <coughs> time for this. Short but meaningful. And remember, this is the last impression you can make. Next one, please. All right. So this is a key point. When you ask this, be able to tell a story. So I told you at the beginning. Whenever you ask a question, tell me about yourself. What is your background? 
focus in one sentence and strong opening. Dr. Wen, I'm a recent UCLA graduate with honors, majoring in biochemical biomedical engineer, and enthusiastic to be here today. That's it. Strong statement, who you are, and we remember you. Don't say, oh, I was born and raised in Vietnam. I came to the US when I was three. My mom doing this, my dad doing it, my sister doing this since. Okay, and when you finish, everyone gets sleep. So don't do that. And then, when you give some silence to the interviewer, tell a bit about yourself as time goes. <coughs> and then, when you're about to finish, you conclude with one strong statement. And you can see, I'm very enthusiastic about this medical school and residency, and I believe I'm the best candidate for today. I make that impression. Next one, please. All right, and then I said, get to the point and short question. Often I get this, oh, Dr. Tran, I have two questions for you. The first one is, what's your mind about that? Don't do that. Just go straight to the question, Dr. Tran, why would you teach in this medical school? Straightforward like that. And whenever you ask those questions, not only you set up for you for the interview, but also impress people that you tell them you know how to ask questions. Next one, please. All right. Now, we move into closed interview. When you get asked, do you have any qu more questions? You should say thank you to this, and then a good handshake again. Okay, don't do too strong, don't do too weak, and I still remember that handshake from, from the guy. And then, uh, if you can, do a handwriting thank you, and I usually do that while you walk into the car or you get out of the room. You know why? Because you remember. You remember today that you saw this and this, and you note something particularly about you, about the faculty. All right, next one, please. All right, so hopefully in the last 10 or 15 minutes, I'll show you how and what is how to impress. Any questions? I need two questions. Yes. Well, one uh, the most impressive question is, um, why did you choose to stay in this uh, faculty medical school while the medical school is, has a lot of scandals? <laughs> and uh, actually, that's a very uh, hard question, and I remember that because it's a. Uh, and my uh, question is, first and foremost, I care about my students. I don't care about anything else. And if I can see that the school mission is service to. That's why I'm here. So actually, that's very, a very good point. Whenever you ask a question, try to tell it to that particular school. Because if you can see the school mission, you can see the school statements, if you can follow with that, you're good. All right. Any more questions? And then we, I can hand it to my colleague, Dr. Lauren Tran. All right, thank you, guys, and I see you.